Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to rewrite a given quadratic equation into a complete square in a super easy way and really fast. To get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems. And here is our very first example. And before we complete the square, we want to make sure that we have only x variables on the left hand side. That means this constant negative one must go on the other side. So we're going to end up with x square minus 10x equals to this negative one becomes positive one when we put it on the other side. In our next step, we are going to complete a square. To complete a square, I want you to just put down this square over here, this part only, x minus 10 part only. Let's go ahead and put down this one over here, x minus 10 right up here. And the next step is whatever this second number, 10, we divide it by 2. Okay, just keep in your mind. And on the right hand side, we got one. And then whatever we put down this part only, the fraction, whichever this one, I am going to write down plus 10 over two square. Okay, so these are the basic kind of uh, tricks that you have to be careful. So on the left hand side, it simply become x minus five square equals to one plus this is going to become simply five square so thus we got x minus five square equals to one plus five square if you simplify it that's going to give you 26 thus our answer as a complete square turns out to be x minus 5 squared equal to 26. And here is our next example and we want to complete a square. Once again, we want to make sure that only x variables must be on the left hand side. That means this constant positive 4 must go on the other side. So we ended up with x squared minus 3x equals to this positive 4 is going to become negative 4. And here is the trick that we are going to be applying. So I want you to put down this, this parenthesis square and here is x minus 3 only. This part only we are going to write down x minus 3. So I'm going to write down x minus 3 and then whatever this number is 3, we are always going to divide it by 2. That's all we have to do. On the right hand side, we got negative 4 already there plus whatever we put it down this part only. Don't worry about the sign. So this one we are going to put down 3 over 2 squared. That's it. So we got on the left hand side, we got x minus 3 over 2 square equal to negative 4 plus 9 over 4 when we open this square. And now on the right hand side, I just simplified over here. You can see negative 4 could be written as negative 4 over 1. And then I made sure that we have common denominator 4. And it turns out to be a negative 7 over 4. So I can write x minus 3 over 2 square equal to negative 7 over 4. So thus our answer turns out to be x minus 3 over 2 squared equal to negative 7 over 4. And here is our last example. Once again, we want to make sure that only x variables must be on the left hand side. That means this positive 1 must go on the other side. So we are going to end up with 2x squared plus 6x equals to negative 
1. And the next step is we know that this our leading coefficient is 2. This must be 1. So in order to do that one, we make it 1, we must divide each and every term by 2. So that means that's going to give us 2 over 2 become 1x squared plus 3x equals to negative 1 over 2. And now we want to complete the square over here on the left hand side. So I'm going to put down 1 parenthesis power 2. And here I'm going to focus on this part only. x plus 3 part only. So I'm going to write down x plus 3. And the next step is whatever this number is, we are going to divide it by 2. And that's pretty much it on the left hand side and equal to we already got negative 1 over 2 plus now let's focus on this part only 3 over 2 part don't worry about this sign so this part 3 over 2 I'm going to write down 3 over 2 square that's pretty much it let's simplify so on the left hand side is simply we got x plus 3 over 2 square equals to negative 1 over 2 plus this is going to give us 9 over 4. And here comes our final step. So we got x plus 3 over 2 square equals to these two fractions I have simplified over here. Pretty simple process. So this turns out to be 7 over 4. So thus our answer turns out to be x plus 3 over 2 squared equal to 7 over 4. And here is your assignment. Can you do it on your own now? Uh, you can take your time. Luckily I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead, check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.